What's going on, Stroke Fam? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's having a great day. Thank you guys for tuning in in advance. Uh, today's video is gonna be a little unboxing of something that we've been waiting for a long time. Long, long awaited time. Um, I finally pulled the trigger and got one. Um, I've been hinting at it for the last few videos, uh, saying that we're getting one, and it finally showed up in the mail yesterday. So, uh, with, without further ado, here's our new welder for the shop. Uh, yes, uh, yes welder. We got a yes welder. Multi-process, three-in-one welder. It's a MIG 205 DS. Um, I've heard great things about this welder um, on the internet forums, uh, YouTube, everything. Everything that it pops up on, everyone says it's amazing uh, for the price point. It does phenomenal work and uh, does great. So uh, I'm not a welder. I am not a welder at all. Um, I've welded a few times here and there with a few buddies, but I've not done welding like uh, continuously or, you know, anything routine. So uh, it's kind of, basically my first time ever having a welder, well it is my first time having a welder, but it's gonna be my first time welding um, and doing anything like that. So uh, it's gonna be a learning curve. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Hopefully I catch on pretty quick. Um, I'm pretty good at stuff like that with my hands. So uh, I think I'll catch on pretty quick uh, once I learn the ins and outs of how you know how to set stuff and do things like that. So let's get to unboxing it. Uh, I went ahead and Bought some 90s, magnet 90s, uh, to hold the metal. Went ahead and got those. Uh, also picked up my 220 plug. Uh, I mentioned to you guys that I didn't uh, get this plug yet until I got the welder in because I didn't know which uh, plug and prong it was gonna come with. So we went ahead and picked this up, the correct one. So we're gonna go ahead and wire that in in this video as well. I got a little excited is why the box is already open. I tried to wait, but I couldn't. Uh, so I went ahead and kind of peeked a little bit. So, but this is really the true, first true unboxing. Move all this stuff. First things first, our instruction manual, you guys can see right there. MIG 205 DS from Yes Welder. Comes with an, um, a bearing right here for our wire, some Teflon. This is a 110 to 220 adapter. That's clutch. Uh, we don't have to buy one or, you know, wire a new whip. We can just plug it and keep it chucking. So that's key. Don't have to spend any extra money. Comes with this little slag brush. Probably just use this, probably uh, get a real one. Uh, heavier duty one, should I say, when they order some more stuff. Uh, there's our gas wire for our shielding gas. That's nice. Uh, I'll probably say this is I'd say about eight foot. Six to eight foot, I'm gonna say that. Play it safe. Six or eight foot of gas hose. So that's that's key. You don't have to buy any. They provide that in the kit. We got our MIG, MIG gun here. Everything's practiced pretty nicely. Um, nothing seems to be broken as of now. This thing feels pretty nice. I ain't know. I mean, I've never held any other one, but uh, it feels pretty sturdy and uh, pretty nice. So we're gonna see how that works. I don't know anything about these connectors. Um, I hear people say it's Dens 50 and Dens 25, whatever, blah, 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 stuff like that. I haven't learned any of that yet. So um, if you guys know anything, hop in the comments, teach me a little something. I'm all, all open for learning. This little booger got some weight to it. Right here. It looks 
pretty nice overall. Nothing broken on it so far. Bring it across. Yeah, this is Dennis 50 plug. Dennis 50, I'm seeing it right here. Gotta get angry you guys down a little bit. Dennis 50. So like I said, this is a multi-process welder. It's a three-in-one. Uh, it does MIG, stick, and TIG. Uh, everything should be provided except for the actual TIG. Uh, uh, what do you call it? The TIG little gun. So um, I'll have to pick that up one day. Probably not time soon because I don't think I'm ready to learn TIG yet. Uh, I want to start with MIG. I'm pretty sure I can catch on to do a stick pretty easily. Uh, so, but I really want to learn me because that's, that's the majority of what people use nowadays. So I definitely want to um, use that. Open up our little compartment here. Here's our stick holder. Now this one feels kind of cheap. I ain't gonna lie. I can kind of I can feel this one. I ain't gotta feel another one to tell you this one feels kind of cheap, but it looks pretty simple to uh, change if I want. Undo those screws and put another one on there if I want. So if you guys have any suggestions on a stick holder, let me know, and uh, I'll probably end up buying a new one whenever this one burns up. Probably end up buying a new one and putting it on here. Here's our ground. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Um, it could definitely be better. But uh, the clamp does have a little bite to it. And overall, I mean, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's a ground. As long as you get con good contact with the ground, I mean, a ground is a ground. So this looks decent. I'm sure it could be better, but uh, it'll do the job for me for now. And uh, we're gonna have to go pick up some wire so we can practice and play around with it. It did, I didn't order any wire off the back because I didn't know exactly what I needed to get. Or, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go pick up some wire probably tomorrow, um, someday soon, and play around with it. But just a little bugger. It looks pretty nice, guys. I, I can't even, um, everything that I've heard about it seems to be pretty true. So far, we haven't used it yet, so. Um, I'm excited, I'm ready to use it. Uh, my first project is probably gonna be to build a welding cart. I need to build a welding cart, and I have a brainstorming, like an idea of what I want. So I plan on getting a plasma cutter as well. So I wanna be able to have these, two, this and the plasma cutter stacked on top of each other um, on a welding table that I can still move around the shop and have everything on that cart and uh, yeah, but I want that cart to fit perfectly over there in my corner, over there by my fuse panel. So it fits perfectly, it'll be like a table when it's sitting there, but if I pull it out, it could be my welding table, uh, and so on. So uh, that's my idea so far. Uh, I think I could do it, but you guys, like I said, drop down some tips down below in the comments, because I'm new to this. I don't know anything about it to be honest, so I'm learning. You guys will be able to teach me something about it. And uh, that's the awesome thing about this platform. So uh, let's go ahead and get this wired up and uh, see if we can get some power to this thing tonight. All right, so we got a plug all wired up. Uh, let me kick on the breaker and we make sure uh, we're getting power before I plug it up. Oh. 
<laughs> All right, we should be getting power. This welder works on 110 or 220. Uh, obviously for you know 220, your heavier stuff, you're gonna want to use 220, uh, thicker gauge metals and stuff like that. Uh, but it said that this little this little guy works really good on 110 uh, on smaller metals. So uh, we may have to try it out one day. But uh, we're gonna try it on 220 right right now. We got power! <laughs> yes, sir! She is kind of noisy though. But, hey, you can see guys, she's all lit up. We got power to her. Now, um, it may look like it's flashing. It's not flashing in real life. It's just a refresh rate on the camera. It's making it look like that. But uh, yeah, it works. As for now, um, I definitely need to get some uh, wire and some sticks so I can practice what uh, our helmet. We did order a helmet when we bought the, uh, the welder at the same exact time. They both came from Yes Welder. So I'm not understanding why this came in so so much faster than the helmet. Uh, I don't think the helmet shipped yet, so uh, we won't be able to really weld anything until the helmet comes in. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll make a video, another video, one day when I when I get all that practice. Well, what I'm saying, we're gonna make a lot of videos. Uh, this is gonna be a learning curve, learning experience for me, and uh, it's just an opportunity to teach me what you guys know about welding. So. I'm open for anything and everything, so uh, you guys drop down in the comments below, DM me, Instagram, Facebook, or whatever it is, uh, and yeah, if you guys think I'm having tips, tricks for me, let me know, please, I'm open for uh, all of that, so uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, I definitely will be doing a lot more videos on the Yes Motor, it's a, it looks like it's going to be an awesome little machine, and I can't, I'm excited to uh, use it, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please go down below, hit that like button, subscribe button, and also turn the notification bell if you guys haven't already. We got so, so much on the way for 2021, guys. You guys just do not know. So uh, you guys don't want to miss it. So go down below and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.